the BSA Gold Star dates back to 1938. It came into existence after in 1937, four-time Isle of Man TT winner Wal Handley lapped Brooklyn Circuit at over 100 miles per hour on a BSA Empire Star. As such, the feat was awarded a Gold Star badge and BSA produced a 496cc single-cylinder Gold Star in 1938. There have been 350cc and 500cc single cylinder versions since then and the Gold Star stayed in production until 1963, but a lot has happened since then. However, now BSA are back, with a very traditional looking modern take on the 50s and 60s Gold Stars, complete with the pre-unit look to the engine. In this video we'll take a quick look at the details we have so far for the Gold Star, including the recently revealed pricing. Hello and welcome to Moto Chatter, let's dive into the details. The 2022 BSA Gold Star is still a single, but now with 652cc. The big cylinder has a compression ratio of 11.5 to 1 and is good for 45 horsepower at 6,500 rpm and 40 pound foot of torque at just 4,000 rpm. The engine is liquid cooled, double overhead cam with twin spark plugs, and is mated to a 5 speed gearbox. Obviously, this bike is not out to set any records in performance, it is about the experience and the nostalgia, but those numbers still aren't bad all things considered. It weighs in at 213kg around 470 pounds wet, with a 780mm or 30.7 inch seat height. The BSA should still get enough of a move on to have some fun on the back roads and entirely outperforms its namesake. It is also right in the mix with what will no doubt be its main competition, the Royal Enfield Interceptor. Having slightly more torque, but slightly less power than the Royal Enfield, the BSA makes its power and torque lower down in the rev range, and it is also 4 kilos, just under 9 pounds lighter than the air-cooled 650 parallel twin Interceptor. The Gold Star can return 70.6 mpg, so you can get plenty of mileage from the 12 litre tank. You get 41mm forks up front, with twin 5 level preload adjustable shocks at the rear. Brakes are a single disc with a Brembo 2 piston caliper up front and a single piston Brembo at the rear, with ABS as standard. The design of the Gold Star stays very close to the later Gold Stars produced in the 50s and 60s, particularly with the Legacy Edition Silver Sheen paint scheme, which is the most expensive available. It has plenty of chrome on display and the pinstriping on the tank, and it more closely looks like what I think when someone mentions a BSA Gold Star. The 36 spoke alloy wheels finish off the classic look, along with the twin analog dials, although they do have incorporated LCD displays. The bikes are supplied with Pirelli Phantom Sports Comp tyres from the factory, which also help to complement the classic styling. This new BSA really looks the part. The radiator is there but doesn't really catch the eye, but it still offers the benefits of liquid cooling. There is a sump guard, the seat looks comfortable, and the exhaust looks like it could be a 1960s original. The bike was designed and engineered in the UK, and I think they have done a really good job with it. There are five color options available, Highland Green, Insignia Red, Dawn Silver, Midnight Black, and the Legacy Edition Silver Sheen. Prices differ depending on the colour, with the green being the cheaper at £6,500, going up to £6,800 for the other colours, except the Legacy Edition Silver, which is £7,000. The new Gold Star is set to be ready for delivery by the end of August 2022 in the UK. It will be launched first in the UK, as that is where BSA is originally from. After the UK, it will be launched in Europe, followed by the Americas and the rest of the world. So watch this space for a launch date and pricing in your part of the world. And and it is sure to get to you as BSA is now under the ownership of the Mahindra Group, so has plenty of investment and funding behind it, and you would hope that the after sales support will be there as a result too. So do you think the BSA Gold Star can cut it with the established Royal Enfield Interceptor? It does come in it's slightly more expensive than the Interceptor, which ranges from £6,039 to £6,239 in the UK, but it is still pretty close in price, and the big thumper single cylinder engine will offer a different character to the engine. Field. The new BSA has certainly caught my eye and I would lean more towards the Gold Star than the Royal Enfield. I did used to have a 66 BSA Lightning, so have a soft spot for BSA, plus it's liquid cooled, I really like the job they've done with the design, and also for that single cylinder engine. I also used to have a 500cc Honda XBR single, and although it wasn't fast, I remember it being a lot of fun. And there are other bigger, faster retro twins out there a la Triumph if you want that twin engine character. 
although they do carry a higher price tag too. Either way, it's good to see the revival of these classic British marks, with BSA, Royal Enfield and Norton now all in the mix. But those are my thoughts, what do you think? Would you go for the Gold Star or the Interceptor, and are you glad to see the BSA badge back on a motorbike? Let me and others know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the 2022 BSA Gold Star. If you did, please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for plenty more motorcycle videos to come. You can click the links on screen for more now, but whatever you do, have a great day and thanks for watching.